652 time for the morning sprint. An important traffic note for you as you head out the door. University Bay Drive downtown will be closed at the intersection of University Avenue starting this morning through 5 p.m. on August 28th. That's about the next week here. The railroad track crossing is being replaced there. Access to UW Health, the VA, and the American Family Children's Hospital facilities will be maintained. You just have to use Marshall Court and Highland Avenue. We'll get these detours up for you on channel3000.com. Incredible video out of the Milwaukee area. Take a look at this. You can see a roof collapse at an apartment. 100 people are now out of their homes because of it. Luckily, everybody got out alive and unhurt. Happened Saturday in Brown Deer. Currently, the Red House is housing the residents at a temporary shelter inside the nearby elementary school. Firefighters are still investigating the cause. The building manager believes the fire was started by lightning. The White House says it's making 1.8 million monkeypox vaccine doses available for order starting today. Critics say the U.S. is playing catch up as monkeypox spreads and affects more people. The White House has already distributed about a million vaccine doses and has an agreement to get more than 5 million additional vials. Three months after it happened, homicide charges are now filed against a 20-year-old from Madison. Isaiah Miller is charged with one felony count of homicide by negligent handling of a dangerous weapon. Back in May, 19-year-old Marshall Iverson was killed inside a home in Blue Mounds. Miller had admitted to accidentally firing an AR-15 rifle. The round ultimately killed Iverson. In Sun Prairie, three families are out of their homes after two cars crashed into an apartment building over the weekend. Police say the two vehicles were driving the same direction on Highway 151 near Windsor Street when one of the drivers hit the other. Authorities say one of them was driving drunk at the time. That person was arrested for DUI and likely more charges are to come as the investigation continues. One person was hospitalized, but they're expected to be okay. Dane County is back down to a medium level of COVID community spread this morning. We've been back and forth between high and medium over the last few weeks based on hospitalizations in the county. Right now, this seven day average is 142 new cases a day. 74 people are currently hospitalized with COVID. Basketball Hall of Famer Dennis Rodman says he intends to visit Russia to try to help WNBA star Brittany Griner get back home. Griner was sentenced to nine years in a Russian prison after her conviction on drug charges this month. The U.S. has been trying to negotiate a prisoner swap. It is the last call for Brasserie V, the European-inspired restaurant here in Madison, known for its Belgian dishes, is closing its doors this week. The Monroe Street staple opened back in 2007. The restaurant didn't say why it was closing. In the post, owners did thank their staff, customers, and partners for the last 15 years of service. A new report has found states with the most restrictive abortion policies may have trouble recruiting students to their universities. A new survey of 1,000 rising college sophomores say that 30% would consider switching schools because of lack of abortion access. The survey, which was not gender specific, found 80% of college students think abortion should be legal. Around 10 states have banned abortions with no exceptions for rape or incest. Here comes the sun this morning. It is a beautiful shot. Blue sky out there. 55 at the airport now. Dew points also at 55. So still some spots of fog are going to be possible. But all of that burns off as our skies remain clear. Over the next 12 hours, look for temperatures topping out at 79 later on this afternoon. Plan your day with ease. It's going to be a good day here across southern Wisconsin. Chris Reese, thank you very much. Hey folks, enjoy that sunshine today and keep it right here on News 3 Now. Another local news and weather update coming up in just about half an hour.